let me share the top 5 investments in World of Warcraft Classic Era with you in 2023 then compare it to what ChatGPT gives us as advice. If you listened to my videos back in Season of Mastery, you made a bunch of gold, and I still get happy messages about that till this day. But where should you put your extra gold that you're not using right now? Johannes versus ChatGPT. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's start with number five in the top five gold investments for Classic Era. This is Elemental Earth. Everyone will need nature pots for both AQ40 and Nax rating, and most are still doing Blackwing Lair and Molten Core for now, while they are getting geared. You can also make elemental sharpening stones with these, and all warriors use these outside of the main tanks for Bavka. When more start raiding, these will get used a lot and spike in price. Number four, Elemental Water. We are in phase six forever. That means Nax will be open all the time, but a lot still have to even enter Nax. When these start running more and people actually clear SAF and KT, these will get used a ton. Back in Classic, these were between 5 and 30 silver before Nax, and now they are this price again, but are actually being used. These ended eventually in the 2 gold mark, this may happen in Classic Era as well, as more people enter Nax weekly, as these are made for greater Frost Protection potions. Number 3 in Classic Era investments. Grave Moss. This one is still a bit expensive, at 50 silver roughly at the moment of preparing the video, but the amount of Shadow Pots required for Nax is just crazy. You need a lot of Grave Moss for these. I remember back in Classic WoW these spiked up all of a sudden, when Nox was getting cleared weekly. Also Warlocks need them for AQ40 twin tanking, and they are decent for the main tanks also during this account. You need 3 for low tap, purple, 2 for 4 horsemen, and these are even useful on Keltuzat when you get a Pepega hitting the skeleton, for example. Only takes one person to make this mistake. Number 2 Firebloom. Mages are still in Frost Pack. They are AoE farming and doing BBL plus MC in those specs. This will change fast in AQ40 and Nax. They will need Firebloom for consumables for their fire spec. Still, there are not a lot of Nax or AQ40 raids around in Classic Era right now. I'm hosting one each week, but this will be two per week very soon. If you're looking for people to play with, we will have five 14-man raids running up weekly at the same time. The Discord link is in the description. We just did our first Nax and we went decently well. Can't wait for the next one as it is so much fun to be living that experience once again. Now, number one for Classic Era investments. Black Lotus. Yes, it is Black Lotus once again. They are usually around the 20 gold mark and spike up during raid days. They do not really sell for higher than that right now, but again, as more start raiding on Era, they will go up. A Black Lotus in Fresh Shom was around 12 to 15 gold at the start, and it went to around 60 to 70 gold later, and with the inflated economy of Era, it is only 20 gold. This is a massive price difference, and I already see an uptick in people looking for Lotus right now. When more starts taking raiding seriously and flasking every week on all of their tunes, these will shoot up. So I recommend if you invest into anything, it's the Black Lotus, as you can use them for flask as well if you do not end up selling them. Now let's see what ChatGPT is telling us what we could invest in after its extensive research. <laughs> I will give my opinion about them and give my end recommendation after. Number 5 in top 5 gold investments classic era by ChatGPT. Trade goods like Runecloth slash Torium Ore, they are always in demand and can be sold for consistent profits in the auction house. Keep an eye on the market to see which trade goods are currently in high demand. My thoughts on this, honestly Runeclot could go up if people want more bags and reputation to get a different faction mount, but these are awful to store. It could work out, but it's not great. Chat GPT gold investment number 4. High level enchanting materials such as large brilliant shards and arcanite crystals can be sold for a high price to players who are looking to enchant their gear with powerful enchantments. I think JetGPT means more arcane crystals, and these can go up as people need them to attune in Nax. They are around 40 to 50 gold right now, but back in Classic they jumped on Nax release to 80 or 100 gold and stayed there for a while. Large Brilliant Shards could be something, but may take way too long. Better to buy Black Lotus as it just gets used more. Number 3 rare crafting recipes, such as the Dirge Kicken Chimarok Chops or Rich Purple Silk Shot. Yeah, I know, what a horrible name to call out. <laughs> It can be sold for a high price to players who are looking to complete their collections or craft unique items. This is the best food buffs for tanks. I never see people looking for these recipes and you will have to get lucky selling them I feel like. If you happen to come across them and it is cheap, just grab them and see it as an experiment. Number 2. Rare Mounts and Pets If you can obtain rare mounts or pets such as the Reigns of Swift Spectral Tiger, they can be sold for high price to collectors and enthusiasts. I think JetGPT had an error here, as these codes for the mounts are not able to be used in Classic WoW, or even in WoW Classic Era 2023, so we'll skip this one. JetGPT Gold Classic Era Investment Number 1. 
Materials for high-level crafting recipes. Look for materials that are in high demand for crafting high-level gear such as arcanite bars, elemental earth and dark iron ore. These materials can be sold for a high price in auction house. So my thoughts on this is with dark iron ore you can go to BRD and smelt it into bars. That is usually a decent profit but you need a group for it as people need it for fire resistance here which many do as they are still doing BBL and molten core. Arcanite bars if you have alchemy you can always make them and also swap them with others for mats plus the gold from it as you are transmuting it for them. Loads are after Tondifurian classic era so as soon as they will have it they will need 100 arcanite bars and that's a lot. Many warriors are still making Lionheart Helms, as it's the best helm the entire game, so they will need Arcanite bars as well. Elemental Earth we talked about and is honestly great, so I'll give ChatGPT a thumbs up for this one. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. See you in Azeroth. Pog, 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 pog.